Hey guys and welcome. In today's video, I wanted to give you guys some tips and go into detail around long shots in particular and how to get them a bit easier on Vanguard. Now for me, I found long shots were one of the last things I got done on Vanguard. I don't know why that is, whether it's just because the maps and how they're laid out. I couldn't really put my finger on it. So what we're going to do in today's video is go over and give you guys some examples and then I'll play those in the background on a couple of the maps which I find are the best for long shots and it'll show you guys some of the really good positions that I've used to get them. In some cases, I was getting up was of 30 a game um yeah it was pretty crazy uh, this was using the stg bearing in mind it may be more difficult with other weapons as well but these were the best locations i found to use the stg and to get these long shots in vanguard again yeah i hope you found this video useful guys if you do drop a like on it it'd be much appreciated and subscribe if you are brand new as well and make sure you ring that notification bell if you want to be notified when a video does go live there'll be plenty coming out when vanguard comes out and obviously battlefield next week as well so yeah sport for choice but anyway let's get straight into it okay so getting into the video beforehand we jump into any of the examples i want to show you guys a class setup that i want you to use in order to get this weapon done quickly with the long shots again long shots are dependent on the attachments you have on as well and a lot of people don't really know that so so to start with we're going to put on something which minuses damage range in this case it's the mercury suppressor so that's going to go on there again we're going to go over to the optic now and the optic is going to be the g16 2.5 times scope now, so this is essentially an acog scope that you're putting on your weapon just having these two attachments alone on a setup will reduce the range for a long shot. Having these two attachments on alone will reduce the range of a long shot ever so slightly. Again, we are missing out on damage range with the suppressor and also the optic. This always helps as well. Obviously, it makes everything look a far further away as well. So it helps get those longer shots further away, but it also helps in the terms of a reduction of a long shot. Again, everything else you can just kind of put on to make it as little recoil as possible. This setup on screen right now, to be honest, has worked wonders for me in terms of getting long shots. And just because, again, it reduces the damage range ever so slightly and you can afford to be that little bit closer to the enemy as well. So the position around the map it makes it a little bit easier to do that so go try this out guys as i said it'll be on screen right now go and give it all a go and uh yeah let me know how you get on with it this will of course work for other assault rifles as well not just the stg so i presume these other assault rifles will have a very very similar set of attachments so you can use that throughout that category as well okay the next thing i wanted to go on to before sharing examples is around the modes you should be playing now in order to get these long shots i was just playing core and this was the first time in a long time that i've actually just sat there and played core and got these long shots typically i would jump onto hardcore and get them because they're easier but there's just something about core this year man it's just so so good and the positioning around the map is so important to get these long shots however one thing that i do and would recommend as well with using the setup that i've got on screen and i showed you at the start is to maybe jump onto a little bit of hardcore and try and figure out on these maps the best locations as i said it's a one shot kill pretty much on hardcore for the majority of kills and with using this setup it's going to be a maximum of two shot kill across the map because obviously you've got reduction in damage range for me if you are struggling on core hardcore is the absolute go-to for this hardcore has always been the go-to for long shots especially on previous games and there's no exception for this one if you are struggling on core in the background of this video i'm going to show you some examples on some maps where i've been able to get successful long shots very very easily and i said to you in some cases almost up to 30 per game and it's just been ridiculous again the challenge means you have to get 100 long shots in a single game and if you're getting 30 a game you're going to finish it in almost three games so i'm going to quickly go over a couple of the maps that are difficult to get long shots on so if you come across these maps and you are going for long shots rather back out of the lobby or just play it through and try and get another challenge done because you will struggle to get the long shots so the first one is daz hurst the only way you can get long shots on this map is directly through the middle of it if you don't do that then you are going to struggle really to get these long shots especially with using this setup as well people rushing the spawn and stuff all the time you're not going to have a good time trying to get long shots on this map so again if this comes up i will skip it or go for another challenge next one is decoy you might struggle on decoy to get a long shot on this as well the only scenario i can give you really on this is the very far left and the very far right of the map where you can look directly into each other's uh, spawns and for me they're the only places you can really get these long shots anywhere else you are really going to struggle on decoy and the final one is tuscan now tuscan in some scenarios there are some pretty good places to get some long shots but it's a bit of a pain to traverse your way through that map and try and get into those positions in some way so for me if i see tuscan come up and i'm going for long shots i won't play it i'll back out and find something else um but yeah it's just a bit of a pain now onto the maps that are amazing for long shots and this could be for hardcore 
or core. Now, Berlin, the biggest map on the game, 100%. This one is really, really good for long shots. Again, there are positions to the left-hand side of Berlin and positions from the center and to the right-hand side that you can sort of sit back and wait for people to come through. Hardcore may be a good option for Berlin just because, again, the visibility on the map is not brilliant. So you may miss someone or someone may see you and you may not see them, etc. And it's, it's just... I would stick with hardcore because your action time is going to be faster and one or two bullets will go a long way. Castle and Demyansk, both of those are both really good as well. Castle, you can kind of sit at the top of the castle or you can sit in spawn and sort of look out across the map as well. I said I'll give examples of these in the video. Um, but yeah, Castle is quite a good one. Not the best, but it is, you can do it. You still do it in some scenarios as well with the setup that I showed you. Again, hardcore is key on Castle. Demyansk is my favourite one to do it on 100%. This is the best map to do long shots on 100%. There are so many places you can sit, so many places you can look into the enemy's spawn and try and get these long shots. Again, I'll show you examples on the screen right now. You've either got the actual cathedral in the middle or you've got a little building at the back of the sea flag spawn, I believe, that you can sit on and just kill people as they come out of spawn. Really, really good, really good tactic. And yeah, I would 100% recommend doing it on Demyansk if you can. Desert Siege, again, is a really good map as well to do all of these on. It's a big map. It's very open. And there's a lot of windows and things you can just sit in um, as well. And there's a lot of locations you can look from one side of the spawn to the other. Also, the long shots are very, very good for that. Dome is also a very good one for it as well. You can kind of look from one side of the map to the other. And the scaffolding to the other side of the map is the best part. Again, all this will be on screen. These are the best locations for me. Gavutu was also a good place for long shots as well, but you've got to really use the setup I gave you with Gavutu. The map isn't too big, so you are pushing long shots a little bit, being in the positions where I've showed you. But yeah, Gavutu is quite a versatile map as well, and you can get some good long shots being, for example, in the middle of the ship or on either side of that map as well. It's a Royale as well, where you're on the left-hand side of the map and you can look from one side to the other. That's a really good spot also for getting long shots too. To be honest, it's probably the only spot really, maybe the inside of the map where you can look from one side or the other. But other than that, that's really it for Hotel Royale. And sub pens. I'm not a massive fan of sub pens at all. I don't really like the map too much. But for long shots, it's really good because the map is so long that you can, of course, sit on one side of the map on hardcore and just pop at people the entire game. Sub pens is actually a really good one for long shots. It's not a very enjoyable map to play, but it's a very good map for long shot again guys i hope this video has helped you out in terms of showing you some places where you can get them showing you some tips on how to get them and yeah if you have any other questions do let me know in the comments down below but guys i hope you have enjoyed today's video drop a like if you have and let me know what you think of vanguard in general and let me know what you think in terms of getting some of the camo challenges that changed a lot this year and i quite like the changes but again i'd love to know your thoughts and opinions let me know down below guys have a good day enjoy vanguard we'll see you in the next one